He's going to make it 600. Into Daniel Negrano, and Daniel's picked up a big hand as well. Ace King with the button. Well, Vance, he's in position. Now, we know he's got a lot of chips, but many pros, when the pot's raised and re-raised in front of him, would lay down Ace King here, but not Daniel Negrano. He makes the call. And now it's on Jim Hanna. Well, he has the same hand as Daniel. Remember, the pot was raised, re-raised, and called. He's got to lay it down. Too many players and Joe Hashem going out. Action back on EBJ. Call. And he is making the call, Mike. I don't blame him here, Vince. It's a huge pot in there right now. 1.6 million cost him 400,000 more to call. So he does make the call. So three-way action here. Over 2 million in this pot. Tasty little suited connector. Seven, eight of spades. Up against nines and ace king. Everybody holding their breath right now. And the flop comes queen, queen, ten with two hearts. No real help to anybody. Action's on EBJ. He's going to check his eight high. Now the man with the pair of nines, Mads Anderson. He checks. Well, Vince, he's scared. Not only because the guy raised in front of him, but Daniel called two bets behind him. Well, Daniel has an inside straight draw, but here we go with the turn. They all checked. Now the four hearts pops off there. One. EBJ with the 8-7 of black cards is going to move in here for a million dollars. Oh, absolute zip and pip. That's if Mad Anderson calls him here, his opponent's drawing completely dead. Well, how would you call with a pair of nines at this time? You right. got a big pair out there. You got three hearts, and he's going to lay it down. And now it's up to Daniel. Now Daniel does have the fourth heart and an inside straight draw, and it's a big heart for King of Hearts. What do you got? Uh, not, not what you have in your hand, but <laughs> Well, I mean, I'm thinking you probably hit like the queen or something. You got like scared three queens, it looks like. That heart, you didn't like it too much. Daniel's gonna soon realize there's three million dollars in the pot. Cost him a million dollars to make this call. But as it is, he's just got mm -hmm. ace high. Ah, it's okay, I can see it. Whatever. The guy who raised pre-flop has moved all in it's in front like of you here. Good or I'm not, you know. Let's see here. If he puts his opponent on something like two sevens or two eights, perhaps he'll make this call thinking he can win the pot with an ace, a king, a jack, or a heart. Actually, you know what? Count it. <laughs> it's close. I think you got three queens, so maybe I can, like, suck out on you. I can't beat him. But. Daniel is off this time. He thinks he has three queens, but why wouldn't you? Well, how would you like to beat EBJ right now, Vince? Your tournament life's on the line. You moved in for your last million. You're up against certainly one of the top poker players in the world who's the chip leader at this final table. And you got to maintain your poker face right now. He's got 1,045,000. Is that right? Sound good to you? All right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Well. Well, One million. This. When Daniel starts talking, put a bag over your head. Don't talk with him. Well, Vince, look at the Man. poker face of EBJ now. He answered Daniel. You don't have to. I've played a fair amount of poker with Daniel Negrano. My advice to everybody would be, if you're playing a pot with him, don't talk to him. It's just a little bit over a million dollars. It's a huge pot. This would be an amazing call. Well, this would be an all-star call, Vance. No doubt about that. Poor EBJ saying to himself, please go away. Please go away. Daniel, please go away. Do not call me. You're not full, right? No, you're not. Never mind. <laughs> Maybe you have these. I'm definitely beat. <laughs> But I have outs, maybe. Eh, it's only a million. Oh, no, wow. he's doing it! What a call by Daniel Negrano. Beautiful. And that thud you just heard, folks, with EBJ's heart hitting the floor. He's got eight high? Oh, I can beat that. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel Tickle Pink. You are sick. You are the sickest, <laughs> you are the sickest puppy. <laughs> hey, don't give him an eight or a seven. That would be pretty sick. Now, folks, you talk about one of the great calls in poker history. Whether or not Daniel wins this pot, that took a lot of heart to make that call right there. A king eye flush draw, a gut shot straight draw. He could be drawn dead. Daniel sized him up perfect, since he was bluffing, and went after him. It would be a bad beat if eight or seven goes. Yeah. And the look on EBJ's face says it all. He's got a spike of seven or an eight that's not a heart. Otherwise, he's a sixth place finisher. Here comes the river card. Well, the six arch comes off. Daniel makes the flush and takes down the pot. And EBJ has to say goodnight here at Palazzo. Wow. What a call by Daniel Negrano right there.
I thought I might have the best.